Joining us now is the director of a terrific new movie called She Is Love, Jamie Adams. Jamie, thank you so much for your time. No problem, Sean. No, it's a pleasure to be here. This is a, tr a really lovely film. And uh, the part of, that, part of this that I love is the sort of nostalgia of past love. It's kind of what you're covering here. Haley Bennett plays a woman who arrives at a cottage to find her ex-husband of 10 years is also staying there with his new love. And the chemistry between Sam Riley and Haley Bennett is so palpable right off the bat. First of all, talk about trying to capture that. Oh wow! Um, it, it's uh, it's what we hoped that we uh, would be able to do, and we tried our best to do. Uh, these films, we uh, we tend to uh, we we want to capture that miracle, the the interrelationship between the performers. That's our number one goal, Sean, and uh, and I hope that um, that we've managed to do that. I mean, the we're talking about two of the greatest character actors that I've um, worked with. And I say character actors in terms of, uh, of course, their stars in their own right in the usual uh, traditional sense of that. But um, I believe that Hayley Bennett and Sam Riley are the, the kind of actor that they take on a role and they really become, uh, you know, not that they're becoming the character, but they really take on that character. They're chameleons. They're able to to find their way in and, and to present us with something that feels original and, and true. Um, and you can see that across their their filmography. You know, I mean, Haley Bennett. If you think about her and the the various types of roles that she's played in music and lyrics and Cyrano and uh, you know, it, we're just a kaboom. Uh, the Gregor mm -hmm. Carey film, a Rocky film. I can't remember Greg's last name, <laughs> but I mean, they're all very they're all very different characters. And and um, yeah, she's she's incredible. So yeah, so um, thank you for pointing that out. That's exactly what we try to do with She Is Love is capture these these wonderful performances. If I may get a tad esoteric, I kind of have, I have this theory that I've been working on, writing about, about how people are like time machines for other people. Like it, seeing someone can take you back to that moment uh, that you met them in a way that, that feels like time travel, like you're actually there. And that's kind of what you capture here when Haley first sees Sam, when they first see each other's character, is that moment of recognition and the way that other people have a role to play in in your own memory yeah absolutely in fact um i i love that you picked out that moment specifically because if this was a scripted movie um as opposed to an improvised led movie then there would have been lots of discussion of, of what would what they say in that moment what would uh in terms of the script and you'd lose all sense of sincerity um and uh, the vulnerability that comes from those two performers in in you know living through those characters in that moment um yeah it's just it's very poignant it's it's kind of of course you would not have any words um when you're being transported back in time in that you know metaphysical sense or existential sense in fact i call this a existential crisis comedy um, and, uh, yeah, I think that moment really sums up that, that sort of idea. One of the wonderful things about this, and again, it comes back to the chemistry between Sam and Haley, is the way you you structured this and sort of to build in waves of emotion. You know, it starts off very tense and almost very and very comedic, especially from Haley's perspective. It then becomes kind of dramatic and it just builds and builds uh, to moments until you let it breathe at the end. Right. Yeah. Um, thank you for noticing that. Uh, <laughs> but, but also, because um, we're not led, like, again, going into the traditional sort of film theatre is what I uh, call most films. Um, and I think for us, we're, we're trying to follow the, you know, the great sort of um, uh, the lessons of Cassavetes, you know, the lessons of the indie spirited filmmakers, um, like Dennis Hopper and I mean the all of the French New Wave um, guys and it, it's about following emotion it's about not getting too um, wound up about plot devices and um, you know spoon feeding the audience some kind of a set piece you know the words that people use for for film is um, depressing to me it should definitely be much more about the sincerity of 
of of the performances and and what you're trying to say with characters and themes and, and emotion is i mean that's the absolute priority um and that's the journey i want to take audiences on is more of an emotional journey so yeah i'm very very happy that you picked up on that the spontaneity uh, is is a real key here. The, the 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 excitement, the the fun they start to have, and then coming back to something serious. You know, somebody says something that takes you back to another moment that may not have been as happy. Like that, those are the kinds of things that that this movie really captured so beautifully. Thank you so much. Yeah, I mean, I think that's what happens um, in real life. You know, I think that. Uh, when you stop trying to structure things um, in in a formulaic way, I think you're in, and allow for the magic to emerge. Um, I think, yeah, you you start to appreciate the fact that if you're in an argument in real life, uh, in actual life, whatever the term would be, um, then that argument, you know, inevitably has a moment of levity in it, uh, and that's what makes it something that's um, able to happen. Uh, you know, to express, to be able to express those heightened emotions, the only way in which we're able to do it is if there's some kind of real moment that that occurs within that, which takes you, which grounds you, which which makes you, you know, able to understand where you are and what's going on. And I think that that's what's great about using improvisation in film is that naturally that's what they discover in character is that exactly what you what happens in in actual life you know when it gets too melodramatic when it gets too dramatic for dramatic sake in a formulaic film you would try and put score in at that moment or you'd you know ask them to go further or make it even you know into something that doesn't really exist um in our everyday lives um but i like to try and be it more toward the truth of or the sincerity of the moment and uh of course it's all fiction mm -hmm. but um but yeah, but I, I, I think that when you have great actors, you're able to try and reach those lofty goals. And I, and I think we managed it here. Well, for, for you, in terms of uh, the style, the approach, what were you talking to Haley and Sam about spe specifically about going into each scene? Um, no, I mean, they tell me. Uh, I mean, ultimately, it's such a collaboration that um, I, I don't pretend to know more than they know uh, about the characters and the journey that 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 we're on you know it's we we're, we're in this together and that includes you know all the all the the key um crew and 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 cast um and we trust one another and we we try things out and we we follow things through and our and follow our instincts you know and that's how films used to be made back in the day um and and yeah we just um if it feels right then we we follow the muse, as it were, and, and if it's not working, we, we go back and we, we start again. But um, the actual truth of it is there's always a there's always a moment of um, keeping keeping us on on some what's the word? I think you've you've always got to have the audience in mind, and you always want to make sure that you reach as many people as you possibly can with whatever story that you're telling. So the only the only thing that happens before going into a scene uh, specifically is just to um, remind us where we are and where we're headed. I, I've heard in another movie, somebody said uh, the past is never the past. And that's kind of what you capture here is that, that for, for, for Haley and Sam's characters, the past is not the past. It's just something that's always been there and seeing each other, they become those people again, the people that they were together. And that is both painful and exciting at the same time. <laughs> yeah. I was, just, I was just speaking about this, about the, um, the, the fact that, as soon as they start to remember and uh, reminisce, they time is irrelevant at that point. It 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 becomes almost as if they're they they're they're back ten years. You know, mm -hmm. they're uh, they're right back where they where they once were, and and almost you can you can uh, you experience that sense of freedom that they find within uh having the same energies that they did in their 20s um and so they become incredibly mischievous and playful and uh and of course then that leads to the, the ultimate revelation within the, their past that 
they need to deal with in terms of being able to move forward you know for a more you know sort of hopeful future for for, for them both and so yeah so that's but I, I hope my my constant praise isn't throwing you off. I, I really just really did love your movie, and I'm I'm happy oh, that this uh, that this movie is coming out. Uh, tell people when they'll be able to see it. Uh, February third, so I think that next Friday, uh, it's out in select uh, theaters in the U.S. Um, and then and in, and and the same in the U.K. And then it's out on uh, video on demand wherever you get your movies from. Uh, I'm old now. I'm 42. I have no idea where people go and watch their films. But <laughs> they'll be there. Wherever it is, it'll be there. 